And just like that, 46 hours comes to a close on the 50th annual Fawn Weekend. After 2021 and a year celebrating virtually and apart, 2022 started like most thons with a countdown. Standing to show support for those battling childhood cancer. As you get to know more about the organization, you meet these incredible, courageous families that are going through this. And so I always like to say every year my reason why I thought changes. These 700 dancers know it's no small task staying awake, standing and moving for almost two days. I know it's 46 hours is a long time, but it's going to go by in a second. But there's plenty to keep their attention. Line dances every hour, a pep rally full of hilarious performances, and even special guests fresh off a Super Bowl victory. Through all the whiteouts, through all the touchdowns, everything like that, this has by far been our favorite experience to share together. And of course, the reason there were 16,000 people in the Bryce Jordan Center this weekend, the kids. There are going to be great days, there's going to be bad days. When you have a bad day, think about all these people right here. In the end, the students at Penn State once again raising millions of dollars for Four Diamonds to ensure that no family battling cancer at Penn State Children's Hospital in Hershey ever has to see a hospital bill. We want the life! In the Bryce Jordan Center for the 50th annual Thon Weekend, I'm Allie Barubi for the kids.